supposed to be a campground down here somewhere. Right outside of Byron, Michigan. Walnut Hills, is that the name of it? I think it's Walnut Hills. Uh, we don't know if they let dogs or if they'll let us, but or if they even have any spots, but we're gonna go check. We had to call a number, and uh, somebody came down to the office, let us into the office. I asked if they were okay with us having a dog. They said that was fine. I asked if they had a shower. They said, yep, nice shower. So, we'll here so we here's go. the campsites, $42 a night for electric. That's our electric and water. We're right over here by the swim area. The swim area right here. And we're on this site, 119. This is the Wibbit. They said we can fish all around in here, and there's a fishing pond here without a permit. There's another pond over here, a basketball court, um, some ball fields, uh, a shower area here, which I'm glad. That's what I wanted. Horseshoe pits, and maybe some cabins and stuff over here. I'm not sure. Um, the office was closed. We had to call to get them, but super nice people. Uh, I said the shower house was real nice. We haven't seen it yet. We'll see that later. We're going to go get something to eat. They didn't really have anything here, but they gave us some suggestions. That's 10 minutes away, um, so we're going to go find something. But they have uh, full hookup sites, camping cabins, seasonal sites, dumpsters, dump stations, pavilions. And then you get a code after you sign your thing and pay it. You get a code to get in the gate, so... Walnut Hills Family Campground right here in Durand, Michigan. That's the number there. Uh, we'll show you more of that coming up after we get done eating. Well, there's that swim thing. Look at that. All kinds of fun stuff to play on. They got a rock wall. Big old tower, a slide, a tunnel. On, when we get to the other side, you'll get to see it better. I want to try to film it before it gets dark. Here's the fish pond. Right there, basketball court behind it. Right up here's the uh, playground I showed you. Right there. Looks like they got a bunch of firewood you can probably buy. Shower house is up there on that hill, top of that hill up there where those people are coming from. Here's the RV sites, see all over. And then uh, it says no swimming on this side, but on the other side they're swimming. You can fish on this side as long as you don't throw out towards that wibbit. 
look at that rock wall on this side there's a rock wall a slide a big old thing you can jump off of right there I guess you can swim over there because how else would you do it a little fun little round thing a bubble you can probably throw people off of man that looks like so much fun kind of cold right now but I'm sure the kids love that we're in the town of Durand, Michigan. This is only 5.9 miles from the campground. Uh, supposedly there's some food here. Looks like there will be. Uh, we'll probably just get fast food. Uh, it's pretty late. Almost getting to be 8 o'clock. We only got about another hour of daylight. So we're going to have to eat quick and get back. Um, I would like to do a review on the Chillboat Wagons, but I'm not sure if we'll have time. I might have to wait. But maybe not. Maybe we'll have time. I can use a headlight. So you might get that review in the dark. So Duran has a Taco Bell, a Subway, McDonald's, and a Wendy's. We chose Wendy's. Um, beautiful night. It was a beautiful day. Um, definitely definitely a nice day for a road trip so it's a very pretty uh, scenic drive to Durand and back uh, we chose Wendy's like we said we got the uh, pub burger chicken instead of the ghost pepper um, Tammy got the pub burger hamburger it's like a pretzel bun mine's got spicy chicken it's got bacon some smoky hot mustard and some other things I don't know uh, we might do a review. I don't know. It's getting dark, and I'd like to do a Chilbo Swaggins review before it gets dark, so we might just skip the review on the food. But uh, one thing I wanted to say was, um, all around here, it smells like lilacs everywhere. Like, not just here at this campground, but all through the town that we were just driving in, Duran, and all the way to here. It's not lilac, but it smells like lilac. I think it's those honeydew bushes that we have like we just planted out front because I see them everywhere around here and I'm pretty sure that's what's giving off that scent everywhere it smells delicious really pleasant smelling around here oh really So here is uh, the campground's uh, facilities, 203 sites, large grassy shady sites, primitive sites, rental cabins, picnic areas, group reunions and clubs, big rig sites, firewood, clean modern restrooms and showers. They offer swimming lake, beach, horseshoes, theme weekends, wagon rides, playgrounds, ball field, fishing, Wibbit Water Park Game Room, Paddle Boats, Kayaks, Canoes, River Tubing, and a Nature Trail. Alright, there's our tent for tonight. Right in the back of the car. Just, uh, we'll put some of the stuff that we have out here at the, up there in the head above us. We got some room on either side, and then Duke and Timmy and I will sleep in here. Lock it up, and we're safe and sound for the night. And then right here behind us, we got uh, the campfire we'll probably have and some chairs. But this is just a one-night camp, travel camp. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to eat this uh, Wendy's we got. She got the burger, I got the chicken. And then we're going to do the Chilbo Swaggins review and maybe do a little bit of walking around. Um, the other stuff is going to have to wait. So the campsite has uh, modern toilets up at the top of the hill, but right here beside our campsite, they have these Porter John uh, Volt toilets. They are screened in so bugs won't get in. Some of the screens are ripped, but uh, yeah, convenient that you don't have to go very far to go to the bathroom. You don't have to go all the way up that hill. All right, Joe Bo Baggins. 
see if I can get these out of here. Well, team and I, we're going to have to try to do it together because we haven't done these yet. These are um, cat camp, lounge, like couch, chairs that you can sleep on too. Five reviews later. Alright, quick tip, uh, if you're camping in your car and you lock it before you go to sleep, uh, make sure if you're going to get up and go to the bathroom at 3 o'clock a.m. that uh, unlock... You unlock your freaking car before you try to get out. Otherwise, uh, the entire campground wakes up because your alarm goes off. So just make sure you unlock it before you try to get up and... Go to the bathroom. So we'll be putting in uh, Trader Joe's Joe's Dark Coffee. This is a dark roast, 100% Arabica coffee. And uh, got this little convenient spoon clip and spoon. And I'm just going to put uh, probably three to four scoops of this in here one two three and then we boiled our water last night and put it in this thing so all we gotta do is Pour this into there. I'm gonna seal up this bag real quick. Alright, Tammy, give her a taste test. See if it's dark enough for you. Tastes good? Tastes like coffee? Mm. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Like, share, subscribe. It's morning. Another beautiful day in paradise. Rise and shine. They do have uh, power spots right up here beside the lake or the pond. Every site has a fire ring and a, a picnic table. Pretty quiet here, but this is um, kind of an off day. It's Monday, early season. But it's early in the year. Uh, still kind of chilly at night. Even sleeping in the car, it was pretty chilly. I would stay up here in a camper for sure, but it would be pretty chilly. Well, kind of chilly. It wasn't that bad. So at the top of the hill here, there's more camping. RV spots. Looks like they're planting some grass and stuff. Down there. It's got like a sewage clean out. So it looks like they're going to put in some more RV spots. There are these uh, vault toilets everywhere. Uh, which makes it more convenient to go to the bathroom. And then if you get up here, they've got a brand new modern. Shut this off. Modern. Uh, shower house here and toilet I think this is it down here's where we camp we just drove around here went by that lake showed you the campsite oh not this showed you the campsites here there is a campsites all along this Shiawassee River but we went right around here and we're up here at this brand new shower house and toilet 
and then there's more camping back here with the ball field and over here's the nature trail so after we're done with the shower we're probably going to drive up around probably not this way but probably up around this way maybe see what's going on here and then we'll maybe do a small loop to see the ball field and stuff before we leave show you the rest of the campground so stick around I don't know if the camera's pick it, picking them up or not, but you can see a lot of mosquitoes out there. There were a lot of mosquitoes. We used a 45% DEET to keep them off. Um, they've been like this all day and all night. It looks like they're doing a lot of uh, updates right now, but right here's the horseshoe pit. They have killed the grass, but that's about it, it looks like. Uh, definitely something I would play in the summer. I like horseshoes. Looks like there's a nice uh, pavilion behind the shower house here. We'll go in here after Tammy's done. I'll show you the shower house, but uh, nice big pavilion for group dinners or whatever. And brand new shower house, modern shower house. There's also a pavilion up here by the shower house that's newer. And it looks like it may have a stage or something. I'm not sure what that back part is. We're going to walk over there and look. Nope, come on. Could just be a wall. No, it's a building of some sort. A little step here. Nope, this isn't newer. Just has a new roof on it. And a storage room. Maybe that's a kitchen of some sort. Not sure. But another little area here, and it looks like they're putting some camp spots right there. Smells like lilacs. Makes this whole place smell beautiful, these trees. There's also a lot of these trees. This is the type of bush that we have out front. These smell beautiful too, like honey. Sure does smell good around here. Look at this vine that's taken over this tree. It's wild grape, but it actually has little wild grapes on it. I don't normally see fruit on these wild vines, grape vines. Looks like down here by the shower house is your dump station. They have washouts, a couple different lanes, nice big area. Uh, so you can come take your shower, dump your camper, whatever, before you leave. Must be at their bugs. Basketball court even has a basketball. 
There's the fish pond. There's definitely fish in there. Can you see it? See them in there? Bluegill. There's some right there. Okay, so we just went past the uh, shower house that we were at and down around this you can go that way that's more camping we're not that's where I told you I'm not gonna go check it's just lines of RV camping it's like seasonal and weekend spots and then you come up and around here and the nature trails up around this corner a ways Let's see here. I want to go this way and go that way to the big sites with the goal that's the, to the left or to the right is the sites with all the uh, that way is a dead end to the left we don't want to go that way this is you can camp back in there it looks like there's some sites open <coughs> that's a dead end drive now if we come up and around this corner there should be uh, looks like five sites on the left hand side and the nature trail goes right behind the five sites down here. Let's see if we can see them. Get up here past this. and swinging area and then the nature trails a bunch of spots over here on the right and looks like there's a shed here maybe this is the nature trail right there there's a sign that says trail Campsites all along there. This would be a nice one back in here. These have electric. No water, but electric. I don't see any water. But electric, that's all we needed. We would have took one of those spots. But it's okay. Trail's back here in this woods. We're not going to do it. We're kind of pressed for time. It doesn't look like a long trail. It goes, uh, Basically, we're right. Where is it? Yeah. So we're right, uh, right here. And it kind of goes just down to these other trees and kind of around here. So just a little bit in that woods. But it's a nice campground. Forty-two dollars a night for our spot. That was electric, thirty amp electric, big enough for a camper. I don't know if these uh, more primitive spots back here with just the electric would be less. I would think you can get on their website, Walnut Hills, in uh, Walnut Hills Family Campground, Duran, Michigan. Right there's a number. All right, now we're on the road again, going places that we've never been. We can't wait to get on the road again. And uh, we're gonna go head out and see some more friends of ours. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for this video, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Keep finding the art and everything. We want to thank the Vineyard Chicks, Mary Ranch, and the Timbrook family for being long-term Patreon supporters. Their links are in our description. Welcome to the Gypsy and the Manila Gorillas channel. We are so glad you found us. We encourage you to keep finding the art in everything. Please like and share this video. And remember, and remember to, subscribe to subscribe to our, to our channel. channel.